Hey Glenn fam, so today we are going to be going over my favorite brushes. I'm super excited about this today and you have to forgive me. A lot of these aren't clean because I used them yesterday, so I'm sorry. <laughs> these are my favorite brushes that I use almost daily. Disclaimer, um, I am an affiliate for Sigma and some of these brushes are by Sigma. That in no way changes my opinion of the brushes. If I don't like the Sigma brushes, I'm not putting them in here. If I love the Sigma brushes, there are some in here. So, with that being said, I do have a Sigma link in the description below. If you click on it and then get some brushes, a small, small portion of it goes to me. If you are uncomfortable with that, that's fine. You don't have to use my Sigma affiliate link. I'm not pushing it. I'm not telling you how to live your life. It's not, it's just, I don't wanna push it. I have quite a few brushes, so let's just jump into it. We're gonna do face brushes first. Mm, I love them so much. Um, so let's jump into this. So my first brush that I really, really like is a really, really fluffy one, and it's by Crown Brush. And I can't figure out what kind of brush it is, but if I can find it or something similar to it, I will link below. But it's just very, very big and fluffy and very, very soft. And softness in a big brush is very important. The next brush is by Sigma and this is the F57 Emphasize Contour and this is obviously what it says it's for. It's for contouring and it's shaped like the edge of your face if you can see this so it fits perfectly where you would contour and it just really gives you that really sharp precise contour and then you can really easily blend it out as well with this brush. The next brush is by MAC. This is the 168 brush and this is also a contour brush and highlight and I use it for blush sometimes. It's really really nice because it's small and it's angled right here as you can see and it's super super soft. I've had this brush for so long and it's still one of my favorites to contour and highlight with. The next brush is the Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush, and this is the F15, and this is by Sigma as well. Um, this is one of the softest brushes I own, and it is amazing. I really, really, really love this brush. It's really nice for doing your blush, obviously, but it also is really, really nice for contouring, and I really like to use this to sharpen my contour with translucent powder. And so this is a very, very universal brush. You can use it for so many things. Um, you can use it to set your face. You can use it to set your eyeshadow base. You can use it for highlight. Actually, really anything that requires a bigger brush, you could probably use this for. Then the next brush is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. Um, I have raved about this brush in many of my other tutorials. Um, if you are not new here, you will already know that I love this brush. Um, before this brush, I was not a fan of highlight because highlighters, and that's because I couldn't get them to go on as bright as I wanted without using my fingers. And this brush is tapered up here, if you can see, and it has lots of bristles. Um, it has lots of hairs, and it just applies the highlight so flawlessly and so nicely. I love it so much. By far, one of my favorite brushes out of my whole entire collection. All right, that is it for the face brushes. We're gonna move on to the smaller brushes. And I have lots of them. So we'll start out with, um, let's start with angled eye brushes, angled eyeliner brushes or eyebrows, whatever. I have three of them. Um, these three are my favorite three out of my whole entire collection. The first one is by Essence. And this is their little tiny brow brush that they that you can get at Ulta. It's really cheap. It's only like three bucks, I believe. And it's little baby tiny. And this is super little, like super skinny. And that is what I like about it. Because... 
to get a really like feathered look on your brow you really need a super skinny angled brush and this is definitely one again this is the essence brush and I love it so much next brush is by MAC and this is the 266 brush and this is their angled eyeliner brush I like this brush because it has such a dramatic angle um, compared to a lot other brushes in my collection that are meant for eyeliner this has a super super like steep angle if that makes sense so it's really easy to get in there in the corner of your eye to get that really sharp eyeliner and it's also good for drawing little sparse eyebrow hairs in the beginning of your brow it's amazing and it's one of my favorite brushes I've had this brush for a really 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 long time as well the last angled brush is by Sigma again and this is the winged liner brush and this is EO6 and this is the littlest tiniest little baby brush for angled eyeliner or eyebrows that you will ever see so little I don't know if you guys can see actually how little it is it's so amazing for detail work and it's super 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 light and tiny um, so it's easy to get crisp lines with this brush the next three brushes that I'm gonna be talking about are from wet n wild and um, these are super super affordable I, I got these at my dollar store and they're actually really nice like super nice um, the first one that I really really love is this little tiny flat brush it's really really nice for under eye work and precise placements of whatever color you're wanting to do um, I've also used this as a lip brush um, I've also used this as an eyeliner brush so it's a very versatile um, it's a little bit harder to handle as an eyeshadow or an eyeliner brush, but it is possible <laughs> and um, I really really like this one and then the other two are Fluffy brushes for the eyes and one is smaller than the other. So this one is the small one. This is just their fluffy crease brush this one's smaller and more dense the next one is the bigger of the two crease brushes this is just a really, really fluffy brush. I just really, really like them, and they are super affordable. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is the Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush, and this is the E45. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see, but it comes to a little tiny point. It's much different from like, let's say, compare it to the Wet n Wild brush. Do you see the little point? They're both really fluffy and very soft, but this one comes to a point and that is really nice when you're wanting to do like more precise blending out your crease colors. If you're using a lot and you only want to keep one color in one spot in a little spot, this brush is the brush to use. It's really, really nice, and um, I use this one a lot as well. The next brush is also by Sigma, and this is the Blending Brush E36 brush. This is the smallest fluffy crease brush that I have ever seen, and um, this brush is great for cut crease blending. Like once you are once you're done placing the color down onto your lid for your cut crease. It's amazing how little of a space that this touches to blend so that your cut crease isn't so blown out and expanded on your eye. If you want more of just a sharp but blended still cut crease, this is really, really nice. Super soft and super fluffy, but small and baby-like. The next brush is by MAC and this is my Ride or Die brush. I have had it since beauty school. I know that sounds kind of crazy because that's a long time ago, but this is the MAC 217 brush. I've also owned a couple of these um, for my makeup kit, for my freelance makeup kit. This is my 
Ride or Die Crease Brush. I always bring this. It's so amazing. I just can't live without it. It's the perfect size to get in your crease and to blend it out and it's just stiff enough to really place the product down but still fluffy enough and soft to blend the product out. It's amazing. The next brush is just a regular spoolie. I can't remember who this is by. Um, I want to say it's by Crown but I'm not sure. But you can get a spoolie anywhere. I use it every day for my eyebrows, my eyelashes, I, I, I mean really. So many things, so many things. And it's just basic, but very essential for your makeup kit. Next one is a pencil brush, and this is the MAC 219 brush. This is just a little tiny pencil brush that's great for doing detail work underneath your eye. The last brush that I have for you guys today is probably the brush that I use the most and every single time I do makeup I use it. Um, that is the MAC 286 and it is a fluffy crease brush. It looks like this. It is dirty right now because I just used it yesterday. It's such an amazing brush. That's it for this favorites video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Bead by Josie K. It's that red button down there. It's free, it says subscribe, and if you click the little bell button next to it, you will never miss another one of my videos and you'll become part of the Glam Fam. So, there's always that. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat. I talk to you guys mostly over there and Instagram and Twitter. They're also at Beauty by Josie K. And if you wanted to see this makeup, I did do a tutorial on it. It is my one brand makeup tutorial by NYX. Well, using NYX. And um, if it's not up yet, it will be up soon. And if it is up, I will link it here. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love you. Bye!